Yeah, so I'm kind of a bit disappointed right now. I'm supposed to be doing a review for Dr. Sleep and there's no one to do the review with. I typically would have my brother sitting next to me, but he wasn't available to be able to see the movie, so therefore he's not able to do the review because we are the Cinefanatics. My name's Robert Adams. He would be Chris Adams if he was here, but he's not here, so I'm going to be reviewing Dr. Sleep all by myself. I just wish there was... I wish there was someone to talk to to bounce ideas off of, and I don't have anyone, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to... Actually, I think I have another idea. Let me try something else. There's... Well, this is a gorgeous place. Just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, love it. Yes, it is. Thank you for saying so. What will it be? I'll have the usual. Never been here before, so you don't know what my usual is. My usual would be, let's say, bourbon on the rocks. Kind of like what Jack Nicholson likes to drink in The Shining. Thank you, Lloyd. It is Lloyd, right? Yes, it is. That's a nice drink there, Lloyd. Thank you for saying so. <sighs> Very nice. How are things going? It's not going too great there, Lloyd. I've got a huge problem. I hope it's nothing serious. No, it's nothing serious. It's just that I went to go see Dr. Sleep, and I feel like I'm the only person in the world that really didn't like it. Now, here's what I gotta say going into this, and don't worry, Lloyd, I'm, I'm not gonna give you any spoilers. There won't be any spoilers in this diatribe that I'm going to say. Thank you for saying so. Uh, when I first saw The Shining, I was not a huge fan of that movie either. That one took like a couple of times watching it for me to really get invested and get into it and know what's really going through, uh, say, like Jack Torrance's head while they're at the Overlook Hotel, which looks very similar to this, but not quite as accurate. It's almost like you couldn't find the uh, the right background to match, but I mean, your side of it looks perfect. Thank you for saying so. This movie was really hard to get into, and I don't know. It, I never read the book, so it may be because I have just like really bad ADD, and there just was not a whole lot of exposition in this movie. I typically like my movies that kind of explain where we're at. It's kind of like when you watch a movie, and the characters are heading to a destination. You kind of have like an establishing shot that shows where you're going. You got, you kind of have an idea as to the movement that's happening with this. And I don't feel like we got any of that in this movie. Not the establishing shots. I mean, of course we show the Overlook Hotel. Some of this does take place there. But I don't feel like we got any exposition to really establish what's going on. And it's that exposition is what I want. It, it what puts me, gets me ready to watch this movie. So yeah, that was, it, I feel like it was kind of hard to get into that way. And therefore I had a hard time really like grasping what was going on. When watching this, I really liked Ewan McGregor's portrayal as of the older Danny Torrance or Dan. Uh, he really seemed to kind of play into that and really fit that role pretty well. I also like uh, Rebecca Ferguson's character as uh, Rose in the Hat. Uh, I thought she did fantastic, even though my problem was is her and her group, I, I still really didn't know what they were really trying to do. It just seems like they were wanting to just take people that have that shining shine thing. Uh, so, I mean, that that seemed to be a, a little weird, a little awkward. Didn't quite, again, back to the exposition, I don't know where this movie was trying to go with that. I was expecting to go in and see a movie all about uh, the grown-up Danny being tortured, and I feel like we got very little of that in, in the way of torturing Danny. But otherwise, again, I really liked uh, Rebecca Ferguson's character. I thought she did fantastic in this movie. Women can't live with them. Can't live without them. Okay, well that's really weird to say, but sure, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll drink to that, I guess. <sighs> Nothing quite like drinking a bourbon at like 9 o'clock in the morning when you're filming a review, isn't it, Lloyd? No, sir. Anyways, 
Um, so uh, this might be a movie that, again, I'm probably going to need to watch it a couple of times over and over again, like I did with The Shining. I knew The Shining was a good movie. I just needed to rewatch it to really find where that good movie was in there. And I think after a while, like, I, I did find it. I really do appreciate The Shining. I do like it now. Still not what I would say one of my top horror movies, but it's definitely in there. Uh, again, as far as the story on this one goes, though... It was just really hard to grasp. I, f I was able to follow some of the connections, um, but it, again, I might need a, another rewatch. I felt kind of disconnected from it because I wasn't able to easily follow where it was going. So uh, I maybe had like a, oh, let's call it a momentary lapse of reason or something like that. Overall, I would have to say, eh. Out of, say, like 10, I'd probably have to give this movie a, probably a 4. I mean, it really didn't rank that high for me. I thought it was pretty decent as far as, like, the narrative that they're trying to tell. It looked impressive, but just, again, I, I was just so detached from it. And I really wish I could rank it higher because everyone else is. And, again, I feel like that might be a serious problem, not necessarily with the movie, but with me. And a credit to my opinion... Your credit's fine. Yes, yeah, I know, it, it, it's fine, but, I mean, I, I, I just feel a little awkward about it, but if I want to be truthful, yeah, I'm going to have to go 4 out of 10, so, yeah, um, that's probably going to do it for me, Lloyd. I, I, I really don't think I need anything, I mean, let me, mm, yeah, still too early for a little bourbon, but pretty good, though, um, yeah, so that's going to do it for uh, my review, Lloyd. Uh, if you liked uh, my review, make sure you uh, comment down below and uh, also hit the like button. Or if you just really didn't like it, you you are free to hit the dislike button. I'm not going to stop you from hitting anything you want. Uh, I mean, it is your opinion as well, so feel free to do that. Uh, also, make sure you follow us on social media. We are at Cinefanatics MLP on Twitter and Instagram and the social medias and stuff like that. Uh, make sure you follow us when we make changes to this channel because we are quickly, very quickly, approaching 1,000 subscribers. So make sure you join us for our live stream when we're going to be celebrating all the subscribers who are following us. You can subscribe to us by hitting the subscribe button down below, Lloyd. Or you could also subscribe to us by hitting the subscribe button that's right up here above my head. Yeah, go ahead and click that. You'll be subscribed easily. Also, over here off to the side are a couple other videos that we have made. And as always, Lloyd. Women can't live with... Yeah, you said that, but sure. Later. I don't want to hurt you. I just want to review your brains out.